Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover how we can remove duplicates from array in Power Automate. So I'll directly jump to my Power Platform environment. Here I have created a very simple scenario. What uh, this, this is a list where we have product and product manager. So I will cover two scenarios uh, to show you how you can remove the duplicates from an array. In first scenario, we have to send an email to this product manager. So I will be getting the items from this list and then removing duplicates from this array. So over here you can see uh, this test user 02 is the manager for Power BI and Power Apps both then test user 03. So th there are few duplicates value. So we will simply remove the duplicate and send one email to each of these managers. So total email send would be 1, 2 and 3. In scenario 2, what I will do, we will send one email each of this product manager. So Power BI product manager will receive one email, Power Apps manager will receive one email each. So like that, we are going to remove the duplicates. Over here, you can see uh, if you talk about scenario 2, there are no duplicates value because in that scenario, we will be removing duplicates based on the product manager and product combination. So for that, uh, I can add two more values. For example, if I say Figma or Power BI, manager is test user 02 and same for Figma, I will add test user 04. So now we have the data for both the scenarios. Here is my environment DS Tech Mirror and I will jump to my solution. Demo apps. And in this particular solution, I will create a Power Automate. So here. I'll create an Power Automate. This will be an instant flow for now, but in your case, the trigger may vary. <clears throat> so I'll say demo remove duplicates from array. Instant flow. Now, since uh, I will be covering two scenarios which I have discussed just now, for that, what I'll do, I'll create a variable just to, you know, differentiate my flow run so that I can cover both the scenarios in a uh, single flow. I'll say where case name, where case is fine. Change it to string and I initialize it with value case one. I'll keep everything as small case. This is done. As a new step, I will create a condition. I'll say control condition fine. Here I'll say case where case is equal to case one. Here we will cover the first case, and here in no we'll cover the second case. So this is the blueprint or flow. So now what we have to do first, we have to get the items from this list license software from the site POC. So I'll go and add this item, get items. Here I'll say I'll select the site address from here has to be PUC side then list name license software so this list will give me all the data also since you know we are going to remove the duplicates from an array I'll initialize one array also here I'll say rename initialize variable is and here what I'll do I'll create another variable and this would be my array this would be where email list because we have to send the email it would be an array and that's it so we are done so now this will give me the list of the items and here what i'll do i'll go and add an items so here from here i will get all the email addresses of uh, of the product manager so now what i'll do i'll say append to array variable fine from here I'll select is where email is. This is my array and here I will append. So what I'll do, I have to get it from this get item action. So this is get item and I need product manager email. So because that was a person group column. So I directly got it and automatically it added this loop. So in this everything will get appended. And here I'll add one compose action just to show you the output that initially how we are getting the duplicates. And then this is my output and I'll say that is the var email list and save. So now let me run this flow first. 
So now I'll run it manually, test, continue, run flow. That. Flow ran successfully. We got all the items from this particular action. And now let's go to our condition. We put case one here. We are here. And if you see the output of the compose action, we are getting all the email addresses test user 0, 2, 3, and we have duplicate as well. Now, if I send an email directly to this email address, there will be duplicate emails to this user. So I have to remove the duplicates from here. And how I can remove, I can do that with the help of union function, which is inbuilt available in Power Automate. I can use it and that, that will directly remove the duplicates. So what I'll do, I will use this compose action here itself to remove the duplicates. I will remove this where email list. What I'll say, I'll say we have a function called union. Okay, this is union. And here you can see collection one and collection two and automatically it will remove the duplicates. See the collection to evaluate an object that appears in any collection. When it returns a single array, it will remove all the duplicates from the array. So what I will do first, I have to give the array. So I'll go to the dynamic content. I'll say where email list is my first array. And because I want to remove duplicates from this particular array as a second parameter also, I will pass the same array. So this is done. Now this compose action will give me a unique output. That means it will automatically remove all the duplicates. If I save this, and I'll again test it. Now let's see. Now you see. Over here, all the duplicates value got removed and we have got unique user. Test user 2, 3, 4. You can check from this list 2, 3, 4. So this is how you can remove the duplicates. But now the thing is how to send an email to these users because to send an email, what we can do either we can, uh, you know, through a loop we can send or we can send by joining this email address with the semicolon separated. Again, it will depends on your specific requirement. First, over here, what I'm doing is, in this case, I'm sending the email as a semicolon separated. So what I'll say, it's a send email. And in my second case, case two over here, I will show you how you can send it using a loop. So that uh, like when an email is being sent, there, uh, there would not be multiple email addresses bearing to the end users. Send email. And here what I have to do, I have to join these email addresses with a semicolon. So for that, I will use join function. I'll go to expression. I'll say join. And this join will exp uh, is expecting an array. I'll go here. And again, my array is where email list, comma, a character, a delimiter, which is semicolon. And this is done. And here we'll say, test email and here we'll say test yeah and now let's see whether it's working or not test automatically with the recently triggered and let me try to run it again we have got an error let's see i'll try again first i'll try to save this flow saved and then run there's some error with my connection i'll quickly check don't think uh, there is any issue with my connection so what i'll do i'll simply uh, run it manually because it has to set up a connection because this is a new action and it will use the sign in and now i think it should work because it was not getting authenticated as uh, hence we are getting that error so flow is running and it ran successfully and we will see that this email is being sent, but there is only single email. So what I'll do, okay, here it is. So again, I will use that particular expression. We have to use this join function. And inside this join function, I will pass the output from my compose because this compose action output is having the values with no duplicates. And here we will use the delimiters semicolon. So this is done and this is test. I'll say here for now we will use this test. as subject as body. Save and we will run it again. So once we will uh, see how many emails we are sending it or how it is looking like, then we will move to the case two. 
so manually this time automatically will also work because last time it was able to sign into send email action okay so this is done it's running let's see it ran successfully and you will see that it sent an email to all the unique users test user 0203 and 04 semicolon separated and this was the output from my compose action so case one is done this is how we can remove duplicates from array by using union function but now the second case how we are going to remove duplicates based on a combination of product and product manager that i will cover in my case two so i'll edit this flow and what i'll do i'll say case two so that my flow will move to the other branch of my condition and here again i'll say append to array variable because everything I have got in my get item action. So I'll say append to array variable. I'll go to variable append to array variable. So this is done. This time I will use email list. And here what I will say, I will use this object. And I will say, I will create an object. I will say product name we need first. So this is product name. To have a better visibility, I'll increase the zoom size also. So this is product name. And then we have product manager. And then I'll pass the values. So here to get the product name from the get item action, I'll scroll down. Product name is stored in title column. So this is title. Automatically it added the loop. And for the product manager, we need product manager email. Let's say product manager email. So now my uh, this particular object where email list is having all the it should be having all the complete combination and it will be having duplicates as well. So before we move forward, I will again show you how it is looking like and for that I will add one compose action and then we will remove the duplicates later on. So compose and output will come from here where email list where email list save test there's some issue with the json with this particular object let me see okay i missed one comma over here that's fine you please be make sure that you do not miss uh, this comma between these two properties of the object test save and test no is running it's uh, you know move to the other branch <clears throat> and let's see the output of the compose so, so here you can see in the output we are getting the entire combination product name and its product manager product name product manager and it is having duplicate values as well for example power bi power bi is uh, you know having power bi is present two times similarly figma is present two times figma is there here also so how to remove the uh, duplicates that will remain the same again we can use the union function and uh, what we will do we will use in the expression itself in the compose here what i'll say i'll say union same first parameter where email list second parameter also where email list scroll down where email list second parameter also where email list and automatically it will remove the duplicates after the duplicates are removed now i want to send an email along with the product name to each of the managers so i cannot send using the semicolon separated in this particular case so what i will do here i will use apply to each so i will say control under controls i will be getting my loop i will say apply to each loop i've used output i will use from this particular compose to output i can use that i will see if i need any if i need select a uh, function over here that i will see and here i will put send email so in this send email now i wanted to send this i want to fetch the email address plus the uh, product name and product manager for that i'll go to add dynamic content expression before the expression i can use expression i'll say use item okay and here i should get product manager okay this is done and make sure that you use the same property which is being put over here it should be exactly the same product manager and product name so I will just cross check it one more time product manager and just to avoid any copy paste thing just to avoid any typing error I will copy paste and here again in subject also I will come 
item f to go to expression item and this time it would be product name this is done and this will be test and let's see whether this will work or not we will test so uh, what I wanted to cover here is how to remove the duplicates and how then you know after the duplicates are removed from the array how you can fetch the specific values or specific variables from that particular object or from the array and how you can use it to send an email or in your case you might not be sending an email but you will be doing some other operation but how you can do that I am trying to help you with that test it ran successfully apply to each and it then like it said send five emails because over here one two three because if you will see there are five unique uh, product and product manager one is figma one two three four and five so i think it ran successfully correctly and over here i will show you first let's go to the compose in the compose see it has removed all the duplicates now okay after the duplicates are removed, ne next thing was how to send an email fetching this product manager and product name. What I did, I passed the output of this compose action directly to my apply to each. I used a loop and then using this item uh, function, item property, I fetched the email and the subject. See, in each email, you will see the subject and the email address correctly. And it would be sending an email. So, guys, this is how you can remove duplicates from an array it is a short video just to help you with so guys this is how you can remove duplicates from an array with this with this we have reached to an end of this video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till then much love keep learning thank you